right, these are the patterns here, but I'm gonna make a simple kimono. So the only patterns I will need will be A, uh, this front, and B, right here, the sleeves. So let's find them and cut them off. As you can see, the pattern comes with different sizes. So you will adjust it based on your own size and how long you want it to be. I want it to be short, so this is how I folded it. I am going to leave half an inch for seaming purpose. Because I'm new to this, so I'm using a triangle chalk to draw a line so I'll be more accurate when I cut the fabric. Oh, by the way, you fold your fabric into two layers, so when you cut once, you got two fronts. Then arrange the two fronts into its final look and then cut a rectangle that has the same width and length. That will be the back of your kimono. Let's fold another piece of fabric and cut the sleeves. Repeat it and you got two sleeves ready. Now let's arrange the pieces together and cut the yellow line as is shown in the picture. Again, I draw with the chalk first to make it more accurate. Now, let's turn inside out. This is the side you will sew all the pieces together. Also, don't forget to pin the sleeves to the body before you get onto sewing machine. I would say and this is maybe 70% done and next I will hand the kimono and make a collar for it let's do it you can iron the edges before hemming that will make things much easier next I'm going to make the collar and there are two ways to do it some people would prefer to do one long piece and then they will have to measure from the end of this side, go around the neck to the end of the other side. But I don't have fabric that long, so what I'm gonna do is to divide it into three parts. One here, and one here, and third here, and sew them together. Let's do it. However, if you have fabric long enough, just make it one piece. That would save lots of efforts. Now, let's find the non-smooth part of this fabric and then we fold it, we sew the edges and then we turn the smooth part out. But before we do it, we can still iron the stuff to make things easier. Now, you have three strips for your collar and you iron them and you sew them to the body of your kimono. Alright, almost done. Let's make two belts. The first one will be a white one. Prepare two pieces as shown in the picture and sew the edges together. Leave a small opening so you can turn the smooth side out and then close it. Next, let's sew velcros onto our belt. Then let's make a belt that is a bit narrower than the first one. Same method. This is how it turns out, and then I add a cord belt for decoration to make it look better. Let's take a look at the whole thing. What do you think? This is how it looks on me. You may think this is too short, but it's supposed to be this way because this is more like a cosplay style. This is my first DIY closing. I'm pretty satisfied with the outcome. <laughs>